guys, Val here with Fast Fitness. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly measure your body so you can track your progress at home. So yes, we all know it's important to step on the scale and kind of see where you're at, but the scale always doesn't tell the best story or even the most true story. But you know what? Inches don't lie. So it's really important that you take your inches and track that at home as well. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna start with measuring your chest. So we're just gonna take that tape you're gonna pass it across your back, right across the middle part here, right about there. And you wanna make sure to take that tape and pass it around the widest point of your chest. So right, up, right about there is where we have it. You don't want it below your bust line or up too high. So again, right across the widest part of that chest there. Now the next area I'm gonna have you measure is your arm. So we wanna measure our dominant arm where, it is, where it's at its widest um, area. So that's usually right around the bicep. So you're just gonna take this, Pass it around, so my widest point is right about there. You don't have to pull too tight or anything like that. Just where it's comfortable, no flexing of course. And hold it just about there, so that's our arm measurement here. Next, we're gonna go to our waist. Now I want you to measure two different areas of your waist. First, the natural point of your waist, so the narrowest part, got a pretty short torso. So mine is right about there, right at that narrowest part. Next, you're gonna to wanna to measure about an inch below the belly button. So for all of our moms, this is a big problem area for us. That's where we typically store all of our body fat. So my belly button is right about here. One inch down will be right in this area. So I'll take that tape and pass it around there. So again, one inch below the belly button. And again, at the natural waistline, at the narrowest part of our waist. So that takes care of our abdomen. Next, we wanna to move to the leg. So go ahead and find your dominant leg. You're going to put your weight on that leg. You're not going to flex or anything like that. Just stay nice and natural. Take that tape, and you're going to want to pass it around the widest point of your leg. So for me, that's right near my inner thigh here. So you're going to take that tape around the widest part and just gently pull. Right about there is right where mine is. So that takes care of our thigh. And then the last area I'd like you to measure is your calf. So again, we're going to go to the widest point of our, our calf muscle here. Don't have to flex or anything. Just go ahead and plant that foot down. Take your tape, that's right about where my widest part, part is, and yes, so we are good. So that takes care of everything, our chest, our bicep, arm area, two points of our abdomen, our thigh, leg area, and then our calf muscles. So those are all the different points. Make sure that you're taking those measurements every two to four weeks while you're stepping on the scale, maybe once a week. Um, seeing the results, seeing your body change is going to keep you inspired and keep you motivated. So let me know if you have any questions and make sure to stay consistent with that, guys. See you later.